Hey guys, hi! <laughs> Welcome to another video. Thank you so much for watching. I am super excited because on today's video, I am going to be doing a first impression slash try on slash review of the new ColourPop's Crystal Collection and I am super excited, yes! Finally, I got these products almost a week ago and they've been sitting on a corner waiting for me to actually sit down and film and do the first impression. I have controlled myself for this video so we can both have a very realistic first impression and just check it out. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, if you hear that in the background, some music, some yelling, if you're new to the channel, I have a son, so he's always in the background. Please don't mind him. It is what it is. And if you're not new to my channel, then you're probably used to it by this point. <laughs> if you didn't know, the, the Crystal Collection comes with four different sets. They did pretty much two sets for oily skin and two sets for um, dry skin. Each set comes with a setting spray or a primer spray with a lip balm and also a liquid highlighter so let's just start with the box so this is the box boom here oh boy oh my god man down i was able to get my hands on the entire adventuring collection which is the green one for oily skin and i also have all of the highlighters liquid highlighters and an additional lip balm okay so i am super excited let's just talk about the packaging so beautiful i'm actually very impressed look at that packaging is absolutely stunning it is so beautiful it looks so high-end and so luxurious at least the box in the outside these are the four liquid highlighters Look at these. They are holographic. I don't know if the camera can actually pick it up. Okay. Okay, color pop. Okay. So this is what the packaging looks like. Look at this. This setting spray. You hear that? The setting spray, the highlighter, and this is the lip balm. How pretty. Let's open up the lip balm. So this is the Rose Quartz Lip Balm. Just do some swatches. Oh, that is very pretty. Yes, so let me do the other one for you. So this one right here is the Adventuring one. And this one right here is the Rose Quartz. Probably not the best swatches excuse me the rose quartz is definitely like pinky gold it almost looks a little copper if you ask me when you shift your hand and the adventuring is very green like if you're feeling bold i feel like the adventuring one on top of a black lipstick that will look amazing and let's just go ahead and now uh, do the swatches for the liquid highlighters do you see that Well, they are protected in there. Oh my God. Do you see this? This is a struggle to get them out. <sighs> wow. I'm gonna have to open the bottom and just push the product because it's like stuck. Do you see this? This. They struggle to get them out of the box, just so you know. Okay, last one. I feel like I'm already sweating in here. My God. Finally, I'm gonna start off with the rose quartz. Let's see. Okay, wow, that is a lot. You see that? It's already dripping. Yeah, I think I did too much. Mom. Well, baby, rose quartz is a pretty gold feels very creamy. I'm a little concerned because it feels almost too, too creamy. Like it feels greasy. I don't know if that's just the texture of it and then it's going to dry down. I really hope so. And they don't, they, they don't really have much shine to it. Can you even see it? I don't think you can see it at all. You got to be careful because 
a little bit goes a long way. Like, I did not even do a full pump. And I feel like it just went everywhere. It's a golden color. But I don't think it is very intense. I don't even know. Second try. Can you see it? Can you see that? Because from what I'm looking at at the monitor, I don't think you're able to see it. If anything, I can barely see it myself. It's not sparkly, it doesn't have glitter in it, which I appreciate. I love liquid highlighters, but I don't like a glittery one. Let's just give it a second try with another one, shall we? Okay, so let's go ahead and swatch Aquamarine. Half a pump at the back of my wrist. Okay, okay, all right. Now we're, we're seeing some action in here. Okay, thank you, ColourPop. So Aquamarine is definitely more promising, in my opinion, than Rose Quartz. This is how Aquamarine looks. Do you see the shift of blue? Do you see that? I really hope the camera's appreciating that. Again, I'm a little concerned about the texture of it. It just feels very slip and slidey. So this is Aquamarine. Definitely has a higher glow level, if you ask me, and we compare it to the rose quartz. It has like an iridescent look. As you can see, you see that? My hand is pretty purple compared to my, to my other hand. Aventurine. It looks very yellowish. I don't know. Can you see it? it? Looks very yellowish. And if you shift your hand, it looks green. This is how Aventurine looks. You see, the glow is very mild. I don't know. And again, it's not drying. It feels very waxy. Like if I was rubbing one of those um, silicone primers all over my hand, that is exactly how it feels. Okay, and the last one on the list is Amethyst. Okay, this is very pretty. It's very purple. This is Amethyst. Do we see much of a glow? I don't know. You tell me. So compared to my other hand, obviously, you can see some glow, it's just very mild. I'm going to go ahead and use rose quartz on my face. So let me just bring you in. I'm just going to take a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to dab it a little bit on my cheekbones. And maybe that was a bit too much. Okay. It says to blend with the fingers or a brush. I feel like it's going to work better than a brush. Well, we can see the glow, can we? Okay, let's take a little bit more. Just apply it on top of my forehead. Like that. I feel like a little bit goes a long way. It says one to two pumps to use one to two pumps, but uh, I don't know about two pumps. I feel like two pumps will be a lot. It's a pretty glow, don't get me wrong. It looks, this one looks very rosy. And when I swatched it at the back of my hand, it looked a lot more gold. I feel like you can tell a little bit on this side, but I don't know. Let me do the tip of my nose. Okay, so, oh, okay. Mm. Here, the tip of my nose is actually picking up my foundation. Yeah, this is a hot mess right here, guys. Let's just go ahead and apply some lip balm. In this case, I'm going to use, again, the rose quartz. Oh, that's very pretty. I like it. It's pretty. And last but not least, the setting spray. This is the adventuring one. All right, guys, so final thoughts. I really like the lip balms. I think I like the packaging. I like that it looks so expensive. The Aventurine Setting Spray for oily skin. I will have to, you know, stay for a few hours with this makeup to see how it holds it up. But 
it felt it felt okay you know what i mean and the liquid highlighters which was what i was the most excited about well they're not bad but they are not fabulous um i definitely think that we got more color payoff than actual glow pay than actual glow payoff if you like a very mild glow this might work for you i feel like these will be great for the body for the price i mean they're only nine dollars and you get 0.85 fluid ounces so that is a lot of product they do say in the background to mix it in with your foundation or your um moisturizer so maybe this is not the best way of applying it i'm definitely going to give them a second try using them like that thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to follow me on my social media which is going to be right here somewhere love peace and chicken grease and i send you love kisses and hugs and i'll see you in the next one bye Wow.